Welcome to Electron Online. So far with end slits and our interference patterns, we've always talked about the intensity in terms of isop knot. Isop knot is the intensity of the radiation entering the slit, so it would be the intensity of the radiation entering any one slit. But what is the intensity equal to? Well, here we have intensity of the radiation entering the slits is equal to 1 over 2 times mu sub naught times the electric field oscillations Mag the maximum oscillation strength plus the magnetic field oscillation strength. And let's say that we have an example where the electric field oscillations are 1,000 volts per meter. What is the intensity in that case? Well, it turns out there's a relationship between the electric field oscillations and the magnetic field oscillations. We can say that E is equal to C times B, or E max is equal to C times B max. Since we don't have B, we can say, therefore, that B max is equal to E max divided by C. Since we're only given E max and we're not given B max. So we can then replace B max by that quantity right there. So the intensity would therefore be equal to 1 over 2 mu sub naught times E max times E max divided by C. Or I sub naught is equal to 1 over 2 mu sub naught times C times E max squared. And of course, the units of that will be in watts per square meter. So we know that we're looking for a unit of watts per square meter. So let's plug in all the numbers and see what we get. So therefore, I sub naught is equal to 1 divided by 2 times. Mu is the permeability of free space, which is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. C is 3 times 10 to the 8. And E max was going to be 1,000 volts per meter. And we have to square that. Units will come out to be watts per square meter. And let's see what we get when we put that all into the, into the calculator. So we have, um, let's do the denominator first. So we have 2 times pi times 4e to the 7 minus times 3e to the 8 equals, take the inverse of that, like that, and then multiply that times a thousand square, which is a million, times 1 e to the sixth equals, and we have I sub naught equal to 1,326 watts per square meter. So now we see how we can actually find I sub naught. I sub naught is simply a function of the intensity of the radiation that enters the slits and then when they all interfere with one another we want to find the intensity in terms of I sub naught and usually when we have multiple slits and we're close to the central maximum or close to one of the maximum then we can see that is very that's a very high intensity and then when we go off away from the central maximum it goes down to zero and then we have our interference pattern so now that we know how to find I sub naught, and we know how to find the intensity in terms of I sub naught anywhere in terms of the phase angle, we're now going to study a little bit more about what that interference pattern looks like for any number of slits. We know what it looks like for two slits, we know what it looks for three slits, but what does it look for n slits? So in the next videos, we're actually going to take a look at what the interference pattern looks like, and then we can tie it all together so you have a full understanding how to find the intensity anywhere along the interference pattern of a multi-slit interference situation. And that's how we do that.